Hi and welcome back to another training video for the Cellular Labs Data Hub. In this video we'll be discussing the venue selector argument of the Google Sheet formulas. So first things first we'll make sure that we're connected which I've already done. Um, if you have any questions on that please refer to a previous video. Next thing we'll do is let's just start typing a formula here and we'll just use the raw orders. You'll notice that the first argument is what's called a venue selector. The venue selector really simply is just the unique identifier for the marketplace. So whether that's US, Canada, Mexico, wherever that is, that is what this argument is for. Now if you'll notice here there's a section in this drop down that discusses that. So really quickly we can use some country codes such as US, um, you know, UK, MX, CA, and I'll just throw in US here as an example. Any of those codes will work just fine. Um, this will pull in our data uh, just for our US uh, marketplace, of course. Um, and for other codes, it will pull in other information. The other way you'll notice here is to use a number, a number one or two. Now, those come from your Cellular Labs uh, dashboard. So if we come over here to Cellular Labs account, and you come over here to the connections page, you'll notice that in this list of marketplaces we have, you'll notice there's an IED number next to each one. And those are unique identifiers for that specific marketplace. So if we come back over here just to our demo data, just as an example, we can throw in a one here, and that'll work just fine. And I can very quickly see it. this is Mexico, of course. Um, if we throw in, like, to say a two, for example, we're going to see Canada. Um, now, depending on the order that you connected your accounts, you might see, you know, one might be Mexico, one might be U.S. It just depends on your Cellular Labs account on, on these numbers. Now, the last thing that we could do here with the venue selector is select default. Now, what does that do? If you come back over here to Cellular Labs, you'll notice that there's a default marketplace selector. Um, and so in this case, our default is our U.S. marketplace here. So if I type in default that will work as well. So those are kind of the three ways of selecting a marketplace um, and very quickly filtering, filtering your data to look at the specific marketplace that you want to be looking at. So that'll be it for this video. Um, in the next video, we'll talk about date ranges.